ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு டெக்ஸ்டைல் அண்ட் கார்மெண்ட் மெர்ச்சண்டைசிங் ஃபார் தமிழ் வெர்ஷன் யூ கேன் கிளிக் த பிலோ லிங்க் இன் தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ அபவுட் ஜிஎஸ்எம் கால்குலேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் வேரியஸ் மெத்தட்ஸ் அவைலபிள் டு கால்குலேட் ஜிஎஸ்எம் அண்ட் தி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜிஎஸ்எம் ஸோ லெட் லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் த மீனிங் ஃபார் ஜிஎஸ்எம் ஸோ ஜிஎஸ்எம் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் grams per square meter so simply you are taking a fabric uh, length 1 meter width 1 meter so this is called 1 uh, square meter so when you weight this fabric you will get gsm say for example when you are weighting this uh, uh, length 1 meter and width 1 meter fabric you are getting uh, 180 grams so it means the gsm of the fabric is 180 but generally in industry we are not uh, taking this much length of fabric that is 1 uh, meter length of fabric why because it will leads to huge loss so we are using some methods so that we can save fabric wastage so as i said gsm means weight of 1 square meter of a fabric in grams uh, to put in a simple words you are weighing 1 square meter of a fabric to get a gsm so to calculate gsm there are uh, three methods available with the help of gsm cutter you can calculate gsm uh, mostly in industries government industries or testing lab they will uh, go for the first method because uh, you will get better accuracy in the in the first methods the second method is without gsm cutter based on some mathematical logic you can calculate uh, gsm of a fabric the third method is uh, with the help of formula you can calculate gsm let us discuss one by one in detail so first we will uh, i am going to explain you about gsm calculation using gsm cutter uh, this is the gsm cutter machine so when you are uh, cutting the swatch with the help of gsm cutter you will get a swatch like this in a circular shape uh, and then uh, you will uh, weigh that fabric swatch assume that you are getting uh, 1.5 grams as the swatch weight and then you will uh, multiply the weight by 100 so 150 you will get so this becomes gsm of a particular fabric here the question is why are you multiplying the weight of the fabric swatch by 100 any guess let me explain this uh so this is what gsm means gram per square meter so here 1 meter equal to 100 cm here also 100 cm then the area of this fabric becomes 10000 100 into 100 so this is the formula that is uh, a square is the formula for calculating area of a square so when you calculate area of a square you will get 10000 cm square that is 100 into 100 that becomes 10000 cm square but when you uh, use gsm cutter you will get a swatch like this this is not a uh, not a 10000 cm square this is only 100 cm square but we required 10000 cm square so in order to convert this 100 cm square uh, to 10000 cm square we are multiplying the answer by 100 so this, this is the logic begin the multiplication of 100 so this is the simple easiest and widely used method for calculating gsm uh, this is the bottom view of gsm cutter this is the cutting portion this area so when you look uh, the radius of the cutting circle is 5.64 cm that is diameter is uh, 11.28 cm so when you use this kind of cutting machines you will get perfectly 100 cm squares of circle if there is any change in this measurement say for example uh, 
if you are getting a 5.5 or 5.7 as the radius then you will not get the perfect gsm there will be deviations so please uh, ensure that your gsm cutter radius will be 5.64 so before purchasing gsm cutter you can check the radius and then uh, you can purchase then the second method is gsm calculation without gsm cutter based on some logics some mathematical logic so uh, you are uh, instead of using gsm cutter you just take a scissor and then cut the fabric into a small swatch uh, say for example uh, 10 by 10 swatch you, you can cut 10 cm as the length and 10 cm is the width then weight this assume that uh, the weight of the swatch is 1.5 grams then multiply this with 100 you will get the gsm that is 150 is the gsm of the fabric again same question why are you multiplying this uh, by 100 why because the area of the sample is 100 centimeter square 10 by 10 so the area is 100 centimeter square so we need uh, fabric weight for 10,000 centimeter square so in order to convert 100 centimeter square into 10,000 centimeter square you are multiplying this with uh, 100 so assume that uh, you are taking a sample of uh, 5 by 5 instead of 10 you are taking 5 centimeter length 5 centimeter into width so now uh, you need to multiply the weight of the particular swatch by 400 why because the area of the sample is 25 centimeter square so if you want to convert the 20 meter centimeter square into 10,000 you need to multiply this by 400 so use this logic to get the multiplication factor simply 10,000 divided by area of the sample here it is 25 so when you divide uh, 10,000 divided by area of the sample you will get the multiplication factor that is uh, 400 so if it is a 10 by 10 sample instead of 25 you just uh, put a hundred so that you will get multiplication factor as hundred so with the help of uh, this logic you can calculate uh, GSM without using GSM cutter the third met method is the simplest one with the help of formula you can calculate GSM so this is the formula weight of the sample into 10,000 divided by area of the sample so simply you just uh, mention the weight of the sample assume that it is 1.5 and then you are multiplying this with uh, 10,000 and then dividing this by area of the sample so when you simplify this you will get GSM That is, you will get a 150 as GSM in this as per this measurement. So, when you look uh, deeply, all these three methods uh, are same. So, simply uh, in the first method, they are using a GSM cutter. In second method, they are using scissors. In third method, you are using formula. But all these three methods having have the same logic. So, now we move to importance of GSM. So, why GSM is important? GSM is one of the factor deciding fabric thickness for example if you select a low GSM fabric you will get a lighter and thinner fabric why because the openness in the fabric will increase and vice versa if you select a higher GSM you will get a heavier fabric so based on your end use you need to select your GSM say for example uh, in winter we prefer to wear cloths made of thicker fabrics say for example sweaters so in winters we will prefer high GSM fabrics if it is in summer we will prefer light fabric with less GSM so you need to choose G GSM based on the end use of a product 
uh, for paid online training like uh, merchandising training or other specific uh, training in garment industry or if you need any project guidance for paid training you can con you can contact this number or whatsapp 9566995821 or you can write an email to this id samy12991 at gmail.com thank you